Over the next seven days, I'm on a mission to make $1,000 starting from zero. I'm going to do this by trying to source items on the low from places like pawn shops, Facebook Marketplace, and thrift stores, and ultimately try and sell them for a high price, netting that one kilo bag. Two words entrepreneurship. To make this challenge interesting, I've asked my sister and her boyfriend to come up with some stakes if I'm unable to complete the challenge. You know what you should do? What? Dress up as the Monopoly guy and then just give away what you make to just random strangers. With the stakes now set in place, I was starting to get a little bit nervous. All right, so the first thing I want to do is look around the house for a few items that I can take to a cash converter. It's a local pawn shop. I've got some action figures here, and I've also got some old video games that hopefully we can sell. I just had a look on eBay, and this Mortal Kombat trilogy game on the 64, it goes anywhere between $80 to $100 on eBay. So hopefully cash converters can give us some good money for this one. It's gonna be really interesting to see what cash converters come at me with a figure on for these items. I think they're great items. I would personally like anything between 80 to $100. I think that'd be a really good starting point for this challenge, but who knows? It's always gonna be a pretty low ball sort of a price point, so I'm not anticipating too much. Let's go and see what they say. Hey, man. Hey, mate, how are you? Good. Just got a bunch of goodies I no longer need, and I'm gonna see if you wanted to take them off my hands. After what felt like an eternity, we finally had a price. Yes. 70 bucks. Yeah. All right, let's do it. 70 bucks. Thank you, mate. No, Much appreciated. Off. Appreciate yeah. it. All right, so we've got $70. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, why did you sell Mortal Kombat to a cash converters for like 20 bucks when you could have just put it on eBay and sold it for $100? You would have been a lot more ahead of the game than the $70 cash that you've got. Well, it was strategic. It was because this game, this whole challenge is about sell-through rate. We need to get $1,000 in profit in seven days. And I know just the category to really fast track these numbers. And we're gonna go and try and find that now. We're going there, Salvos. We're going to Salvos. Um, you don't have any bedside tables at all. Bedside tables? Yeah. Probably own, the, that might be like a mini coffee table. That might be too low. Yeah. No worries, nothing out the back? No, no furniture out the back. Okay, no worries at all. Thank you. Maybe this grand plan wasn't going to play out as easy as I first thought. I checked three different op shops for furniture and as you can see here, a lot of them were heavily priced. Certainly out of our budget of $70 that we had to play with. Definitely a little bit disappointing. I was really hoping that those op shops would have been able to provide some furniture, preferably some bedside tables. That's what I'm thinking, but I haven't been able to find any yet. And the clock is, well, it's ticking. We've only got seven days. So really I need to be buying something today. All right, so bedside tables. Let's see what we've got here. All right, so $50 straight off the bat. There's a single bedside table, but that looks Pretty horrendous, if you ask me. Condition is so important when it comes to this sort of thing. This one here. Who does, who takes a photo like that? See, that is great, but there's only one. That is really good quality. And it's only $20 and it's only been up for two hours. Maybe I could do that. I'm gonna send them a message. I'm gonna lowball them. Would you take 15 pick up now? So just like that, we've been able to land our first purchase. For $15, this bedside table is going to do really well. And I'm going to ask her when we get there if she's got any other furniture. Remember, we've still got $55 to play with. Well, guys, I couldn't be happier with our first purchase. The condition of this thing is excellent. And to be able to get it for a steal of a price at $15 was incredible. Now. When it comes to furniture, the best way to get the best return is to go ahead and give it a bit of a clean. So I spent the next 15 minutes doing that and it's come up a tree. All right, so that single bedside table has been listed for $50. Fingers crossed we can get a really quick turnaround. I didn't want to leave the $55 that we still have lying there uh, un unlisted or unused. I want to go and buy something with it. And I've just come across these back on Facebook Marketplace. I've got another pair of bedside tables, but this is obviously a set. We've got two of them, which is great. Um, and it was $50. I asked Peter, the guy that we're buying them off, if we could do the deal for 40 bucks. He said yes. So I'm going to go over there now and pick them up. 
but these bedside tables look really good. And in all honesty, they look like they're in pretty fair condition. I don't think there's anything too wrong with them. I'll go through the same process as I did with the first set, um, but I'm gonna try and list these up for $120 and try and get something like $100 on a best offer. So I'm gonna rip over there now. It's only a 15 minute drive. We'll go and pick these up and have both of these uh, pieces of furniture up for sale. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Oh, these are awesome. Oh, nice and sturdy too, aren't they? Yeah, they certainly are. In really good nick. Oh, that's beauty. Appreciate you doing forty dollars as well. Yep. That's awesome, mate. No worries. All yours. Have Easy you as that. I'll give you a hand over. Yeah, thank you, mate. Fifteen dollars up my sleeve. I'm going to go into a local op shop now and see if I can buy something that obviously I think I can turn around in the next five to six days. And I'm going to be putting this one onto eBay. I'm thinking maybe a pair of shoes something like that it's going to be a long shot though there's no guarantees that you just walk into these op shops and you just find really quick sellable items but we'll go in on the way home we've got our bedside tables in the back here um we'll see if we can't spend all of our money that's really what i'm trying to do just spend everything that i have and then have it all being listed up and, and hopefully selling soon <laughs> I made my way into the shoe section and I found these Katmandu's and unfortunately they didn't fit the budget at $25 so I had to put them back on the shelf. Actually don't even know if I'd buy them on another day at $25. It seemed a little steep. I did find these as well, the ASICS GT2000. Really good pair of women's running shoes these. They actually fit the budget at just a $10 purchase price. So I was very interested in those. But as you'll see in a second, I had a bit of a further look around and I found an absolutely crazy item. So I had to put these shoes back onto the shelf. This is the item that I'm speaking of. We've got a Qantas Wallabies Rugby Union player issued jersey, guys. This thing is a Hail Mary play for the zero to a thousand dollar challenge. I think the sell through rate on this is gonna be quick and I also think the dollar we're gonna be able to get for it is gonna be huge. I'm just paying the $12, it's size medium, it's in light new condition. I cannot believe that we've been able to pull out of this. What did we want to find? Well guys, for day two of this challenge, I could not be more excited to wake up knowing that we have now got a Qantas Wallabies jersey to try and sell. I'm gonna list it up for 225 bucks and we'll hopefully get a turnaround over the next couple of days to really get this challenge moving. Some other really good news as well, I've got a buyer. I've had somebody come through and collect the single bedside table for 50 bucks. So that was secured. I've got the cash. So that means we're on $53 already. Day two, and we've got two really good items. We've got the bedside tables and we've got the Qantas Wallabies jersey. So potentially $325 there. If it can sell in the next couple of days, we'll be able to buy some really cool stuff. It's gonna be a really cool series. I'm gonna make another video over the next few days for you, so stick around for it. Subscribe if you haven't yet tuned in. I don't wanna be in the Monopoly suit giving away money, so go ahead, subscribe. We'll see what happens.